I don't even need to change page. How good. Got a fairies built. IRL. Dude, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a really perplexing kind of game. It's like a TCG. Alright. Straight into it. No hand warmers or anything. Cloud's been warming up his hands on the commentary. Coffee Rex is scanning the stream chat to look for any shit talk people have said. It's gonna come back with a scathing critique. Everybody delete <laughs> delete your comments. Moderate it. <laughs> moderate di Discord moderating. <laughs> no, no, then you can't. You can't. You'll still see the Discord. You know, <laughs> oh, true, true. I think Yu-Gi-Oh is pay to play. Yeah, of course. It's a card game. Why Kaiser got the Yawn Tag? That's a good question. I actually I don't know. It Right. That would make sense. Maybe he yawns a lot. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe. he's just really tired. Tired of... They're already unimpressed with the cloud right now. Yeah. Getting, tired of getting downs, man. Tired of playing against Peach. Oh my god, I'm so tired of playing against Peach. I love playing against Peach. I think that character is really cool, but also, like, the moment they're, like, having a bad day, they just fall back on getting you for really anyway. And it's sad. SA the Peach State. People say SA is the Peach State, right? But like, we have two really dominant Peaches. And there's just no fucking Peach anywhere else in the country, really. I mean, Musket might literally be the second best Peach in the country. Yeah, but like, when was the last time Musket cracked out the Peach in a bracket? When he played for the Yeah. It's gotta be a while. I mean, for a while there was uh, Will D as well. And yeah. So yeah. Like Will Down Smash. I miss Will Day. He's an arms manufacturer now. Really? That is a really cool job. That's sick. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Jesus. Cringe McLeod. Nah. Nah. Oh my nah. God. Found the A button, did you? Trying to strip his hair of body he's, with he's, so much nair. What the fuck? In a self-satisfied way. Oh my god, he's making corrections. <laughs> that was so wild. Normal rectangle? There's no such thing as a normal rectangle. Oh my god. Kai, uh, like, killed off the top, I think, three times on the time that he won here, so let's see if he's able to redo it. I know McLeod probably likes playing on Yoshi's. Just likes playing. Hello, Garth. How'd you know that was Garth? Oh. Big Ben box? Big Ben some box. Ooh. Let's go, Kai. Peter's cheating ass or something. <laughs> Falco, brother. Damn, not able to poke the feet with AC Bear. I think it's yeah, got, like, the frame one can do things that these box can't. I say Nick still play. Yeah, he'll like go on unranked and make you rethink like everything you've learned about the game. He did one day of ranked, he won 40 sets consecutively, and then never played him not even joking, he went 40 and 0 on rank. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, Nick, very good. Uh, he's, no, he's not. It's definitely Josh. It's not even close. There's no such thing as too good. I don't know. You see the cloud beat Josh? 3 0 and 5 <laughs> no, I was so disappointed. Yeah, I was like, that. it just kind of felt like. Didn't give a fuck. Yeah, it's so lame. Yeah. Like, I, like... It was just, like, Puff running at McLeod. McLeod, like, swatting it away easily. So, I don't know. I was disappointed, but... The... Amps versus RNG set was funny, and then Goody coming in and playing his fucking Falco. Losing magnificently was also really good. But he wouldn't pop eight in Vic. Fuck off. It's the same joke. 
So my pronouns are USA of Smash Jokes. Damn, it's close. What's the, what's the same joke? It's the, they wouldn't top 8 in Vic. Uh, Always fucking hear it. I mean, he might not top 8 in Vic, it's pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I mean... It's kind of just like a moot po fucking point. Hey, no, usually we drove up, but I got that, dude. When we went to the dock. Yeah, that was a, like, what, the most stacked Vic tournament in fucking ages. Yeah. Doesn't get more stacked than that, really. Wish I could hear coffee as well as Jeff. Uh, he's adjusted his mic, so. Well, I think everything is, but they were able to hear my cloud fine. Okay. It's fine. It, it's as God wills it. God wants more oh, Jeff. Oh. Oh, that was Whoa, such a hard was, call. Yeah. Out. Oh my <laughs> yeah, god. That was so risky. <laughs> it's just like there's yeah. one thing he does yeah. where you get to oh. win the game there. <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking back air was ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> kind of for the big plays. What's the food situation looking like after this as well? I don't know. I'm going home. Yeah, fair. RNG wouldn't top 8 SA. Wouldn't top 8 SA? Yeah. You think? We would have we would have made a couple of extra people so we go a 9 person bracket and then he would have lost his Aiken Swagman. There's a hard state here. He <laughs> would have lost his Aiken Swagman. I think uh, Vic is... I think like just Australian Smash in general lacks consistency in general like matchup knowledge over everything so it's you see so many upsets and so much things where it's like oh i don't have a fucking i got puff that goes to my locals so i just like lose all the time yeah. happens a lot i mean it's also a bit hard of, like by the regular numbers it's like yeah you want to play a puff are you gonna play it yeah the is busy and you're busy it's like oh, spinal plays a bit spinal is very busy like in yeah i don't know if it's busy it's I don't know. I'm going for best puff Oz this year. I think it's a very attainable goal. I mean, do you include Nick or not? Uh, yeah. Okay. I on. still think it's attainable. Uh, okay. I'll be I believe. Are you really on that Caleb Kool-Aid right now? Caleb Kool-Aid? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, if I put in the work, I I should get there. But yeah, it's... Man, I wish you the Thanks, dude. Let's go, Jeff. Yeah. Well, there's not also yeah, not a lot of competition. More puffs, good. Yeah, I think my puff is doing all right at the moment. I just need to play more, like find the time to do it consistently. That's just mainly in general. <laughs> oh my god, the it's standing like, laser. For all I shit talk, Caleb, it would, it would nothing would make me more happy than if he was good as duck, so I could then have a fucking well, like you, you, like you hear like, oh yeah, like fucking people going O2 and SA and then you play them and you're like this is the hardest fucking match I've played all week and it's like man one yeah but Caleb did mention Sumi coming here which is probably the biggest win yeah because he came just, Sumi came here and Caleb beat them like bad yeah it was also like a and bit Jenny, of jet lag but then again John's bad. can't John it's not the better player it's one it's a 40 minute flight it's a 45 minute flight true that's, that's pretty bullshit I think Caleb spends more time on the train <laughs> yeah on the bus <laughs> to go to work true Oh, what was that F smash? Damn, oh that is these upbeat like callouts are really strong. Oh, oh, the greed. Unfortunately, Kai is not. Oh, paid. raids the roll and reads it again. Oh, this might be death. GGs. I'm so ready for the roll. Oh, good, nice little bracket today. Uh, thank you everybody for joining. Nice hour or so of streaming, gaming, good vibes. Glad I put it in uh, self promo. Gaming. Did you win? Did you win? <laughs> I guess it's not hard sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it is though. Wait, game two or three? Two. Oh. That was, was that Tana? That I threw? Sure. No. The Shy Guy lost it. That, that's Shy Guy? Oh my god.
Yeah, no worries, Nava. Thank you for joining. It's always good to run these little things, even if it's a small tourney. It uh, it shows the rest of Australia that SA is alive and somewhat kicking if people rock up. We could be way more kicking if our regulars Jeff and Caleb. Yeah, I, I need to go to the doctor or something. Six I like man. cannot stay awake for like four hours at a time. I, are you still eating one meal a day? I do usually eat a meal a day. Okay. <laughs> I know uh, they might can be... I, can I write you I, a prescription I, for eat food? I usually... It's probably better than one meal a day. Is one meal one jelly bean bag? I don't know. Yeah, it's jelly bean a... bags, it's like a chemist brand. It's the best jelly Jeff, you don't even have to eat three meals a day. Just at least two. Just eat, well, he, I usually have a nice big dinner and then like maybe three to four cups of tea a day. But I, I don't I don't smoke as much. Well, I don't smoke. I haven't had ciggies in fucking like a month maybe. Free. So I just feel like shit. I don't know. I should probably go to the doctor for it. Well, this is doubly concerning because Garf says that he only eats one meal a day. So yeah. Well, I've eaten one meal. Oh, I've eaten one meal a day for the past like fucking two years because I'm very I'm a, just a poor student and I've it's been fine. But I uh, <laughs> recently not as much. Jeff, try bread. Try bread. Yeah, I love just, bread. Just like I love baked one, goods. One bread. One fruit. One fruit? I do, I do, I think I have like, despite only eating once a day, I do have a balanced diet. No, 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 so. I'm saying, eat your one meal. And, and then, then have an apple banana. or something. Yeah. Honestly, and see, see if you can stay awake for more than four <laughs> hours. I don't know. We'll see. I'll need to, need to find the cost. I remember the, the week I got a fob. I it was like, oh, dude, I'm going to be so poor for a while. And it was fucked. I was like, oh, wow, going to make this. <laughs> the new, yeah. I was like, I got to make this, uh, make this bag of chips last two days. It's pretty bad. That's and then you go back for Christmas and then you eat a bunch oh, of you're, the you're, food you're at your parents' like, place. Uh, you're doing the, um, I like gained the, a bunch uh, of weight, which is good. The oh, the snake diet. Like the, 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 the... Oh, Ramadan. Yeah, Ramadan's, Ramadan's on right now, right? I've got a Muslim, Ramadan. mate. He's, he he's does it. It's Muslim. Yeah. Uh, shake my fist. You had many pant compliments. Cheap food. Pre I can cook. I do cook. I just don't, like, it's just fucking... I need to find the time to do it and I don't stay awake for very long or I don't stay busy for very long. Oh, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll consult a medical professional about it, but I'll be, I'll, I'll play, what, in a, a Fortnite or whatever, whenever the next Wednesday tourney's on. You'll play Fortnite? I'll play Fortnite, yeah. We're dropping? <laughs> I can't believe people still play that game. Have you tried ketamine? Yeah, that's dude, a, I love that's a, ketamine. That's a tranquilizer. That doesn't help. Put me in a K-hole, dude. That'll help. What? Won't feel hungry then. I'll just be extremely tired. Oh, that's bad advice. He wants a stimulant. Siggy's did help with that, admittedly. They fucking give you a bit of a rush, but they're terrible for you, so. Alright. I reckon it's time we head out of here. Kai's got some important... No, Alright, I'll, I'll chuck Kai on. Thank you, everybody, for joining, and I'll catch you later. Thank you. Wow. Can you, can you believe it? Oh, hi, everyone. How are we going? I'm okay, by the way. I'm just like, oh, man. Oh, I'm never playing good melee. Guys, I'm never playing good melee. Oh, my God. Um, thanks for coming out and watching, everyone. Cute little, like, one-hour stream as well. Um, I can't wait to go home and have a shower and wash my hair. It's been a bit too long. Hand certain friend is Garf. Cool. Good to know. Thank you, Garfield. Folks, don't forget to follow me. You know what to do. Oh, uh, yep. Do you want to chat? Do you want to chat? Yeah, why not? <laughs> What's up? How are you going, Kai? Oh, I'm fine.
So I think the good yeah. thing about like our sets, even if we weren't playing crazy, uh, I think like they all have like individual moments or individual sections where we're doing some decent stuff, which is nice. Because I didn't think I was playing very well, but it was uh, even like I might like even looking at my not very well. It's much better than what it was, and I think yours is the same as well. Yeah, I can feel that actually. What'd you say? Uh, I think Kath may have left, yeah. Oh, did um, we lose Kath? I don't know. I think so. I I didn't see her go. That's sad. Um, yeah, I don't know. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was just like, I literally like... I felt it earlier in the, the, uh, the first set, but I think you cleaned it up towards the end of the first set, and there were just like a few key drops. Where it like... It wasn't close to your best, but it was fine towards the end. And the second set was fine for the most part, I think, as well. I think you just got opened up in some really wacky ways. And that was like... I don't know, I think the neutral was mostly fine, and you just got <laughs> opened up a lot. Neutral's but it's, be. um... You gotta punish Kath for the normal get-ups. You gotta, and like, honestly, like my, uh, I think your biggest weakness versus Peach is the lack of threat you I like especially like watching Kath go to ledge every time she shouldn't feel like she should feel like she needs to go to stage or she needs to mix up going to stage and she's just really comfortable just dropping low and up being every time and she just shouldn't be able to oh do that. that's what you mean yeah like you, you should be hitting her for that and killing her off like normal get like normal get ups and then forcing her to tournament winner and then punishing the tournament oh, winner. I feel like I at least put a meaty dare there once once but yeah. it should be like that's the sort of thing that's like honestly the biggest like like that's the that's probably your biggest weak point from and it's a like it's, it's it doesn't feel like that big a weak point but when i play you and lax i'm like when i'm in the corner and i'm recovering i'm like i'm stuck and i need to win three mix ups to get back when i play you i'm like there's a 70 percent chance i just get off this ledge for free and it feels fine <laughs> that's a huge difference it's because you conditioned me you like condition for you for a whole year. <laughs> even no, even <laughs> even the patch stuff, stuff. I still find there's like specific laser like laser links and there's like specific spots and like covering the roll after oh, the patch dash. I like e even 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 when I was patch dashing, I still feel it still felt really hard in the corner versus um, especially lags because that's the other main Falco I play. But yeah, that 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 honestly has felt like by far the biggest difference is, is I just don't feel like when I get hit hit off stage by lags. Like if there's spots where in you where you feel harder to hit a neutral and there's like spots um, punish spots where I just die especially in like Yoshi's and there's like spots where I take like 70 where I probably wouldn't take in as much by lax. But it's like when I get hit off stage, I feel threatened the whole time. I'm mm -hmm. just like, this is, I'm going to have to work to get back and this feels bad. When I play you, it's like, it feels like I get past you more and it feels like, and, uh, it feels like I, um, the co like I, f I feel too safe going to ledge. Like way too safe going to ledge. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. Um... Mm -hmm. Just going over the set and stuff. I'm just like, I don't know, I just didn't, like I feel stupid, you know? <laughs> yeah, like I, just, I know, I just feel it's like one of those dumb notes. as hell, because, um, I don't know, basically it's like, um, basically it's like, it just makes, okay, here's mm -hmm. what it is, right? How ever how like, you know, I'm getting advised to play Falco makes mm -hmm. me not want to play Falco, and that makes me real upset. Like what specifically? Like the stuff I'm t even the stuff uh, I'm talking about right no, now? No, not really. It's um the laser stuff. Well, basically, it's just like it makes me not want to play Falco because then I just know that I'm just gonna like kill myself over and over and over again because um. I don't know, like, the weakness I'm having where, you know, like, the threatening isn't happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Is kind of like, well, I'm going to shoot a laser, right? And then, like, I'm going to have to, like, move a bit afterwards, right? And then, like, then I have to be super, super ready to shoot another one, like, at the instant I have, like, a small chance to. Mm -hmm. Um and my worry is that every time I go to do that, I'm just gonna like side B and die. Oh sure. Yeah, and like that's something you have about, to push past, though. Yeah, thinking about having to like I don't know, shoot a laser, then hard left, hard right, <laughs> and then shoot another laser, and then just be like, this 
better work is gonna, it sort of makes me not want to play the character. Um, but I don't know. I'm probably looking at that wrong because I, I know I just, I don't know. It's um, like I know if I do more like stationary lasers, like I don't know, that's just gonna open me up to getting attacked again. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm in a weird spot with the game at the moment because yep. I'm just like. I don't know, I'm just mm. not sure about a lot anymore. Mm -hmm. I That's something, I think, <laughs> I think that's something everyone, especially, I don't know, hitting, there's this, like, weird plateau. Well, I hit it as well back in, um, probably... I'm not playing another character. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. No, but it's, uh, the, I don't know, like, and when you're talking about, like, the slight dash dance laser, I don't know, you can you can do a lot of that with just, like, slight jump stuff. Where you're, where you don't have to smash left and right, you can just jump back laser or something. But it, I don't know. Okay. I feel like that's that's something, like when when I watched you versus Josh and like you got in, uh, like you you, I feel like you have ninety percent of it there. It's just being ready to, it's and and watching Lewis is the same and like um, it's it's being Lewis? ready to Lux. Um, it's oh, being right. ready to. You you just have to be confident, not wa like not walling yourself out, and, like not you you have to take the 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 movement step forward to condition the. It's not it's not about like that. Way. It's when you talk about like dash back, dash in laser. I feel like that's or almost missing the problem. And there's a lot of spots in neutral where you just need to empty move forward, or like empty move forward, overshoot, or do. You're always you always take a step for like you always take. It's something I used to do as well. Is you you always do the defensive posturing before you do an action and you need to learn how to recognize spots where your opponent's also looking to hold that space and actually take it from them where you're all you literally like your option is either i'm walling myself i'm protecting myself or i'm posturing before i go in sometimes it just has to be i have to take this this space and put myself in an advantageous position even though it feels bad because i remember for you um like something that you're a lot better at it now but I, I w for for a good like three months, I'd just dash attack out of every scuffle, and that would catch you trying to position your like you you feel like you need to have to like when you're in when you're in an awkward position, you feel like you have to reset where you are before you can play an interaction. And there's like every character, especially as Falco, every character's like basically every character's faster than you. So sometimes like they can they can catch you yeah. doing that. So you have to you have to be able to and like. And they, they can they can catch you doing that or and then your flip side is you just wall yourself and they're also faster than you so they can whiff punish that if they're mm -hmm. looking for it in the scuffle. So you're missing the third layer which is actually catching them trying to like hold their space. You never threaten them. So like in a scuffle you're either you're either walling yourself which loses to dash dance whiff punish or you're you're moving back which doesn't beat dash dance whiff punish and doesn't like like it 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 sort of it sort of does the same thing as like walling yourself. It does it, it wins and loses to very similar things, and you never actually, you never actually do the third layer, which is actually like taking your space, holding your ground, doing a standing laser, or doing an overshoot. So you're saying like I'm not, I'm not good at like finding the time when people are trying to do the yes. thing that I'm doing. Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, I'm really glad you worded cause, it like that because like, that, that means you get it. Because like that's what I've always kind of understood, mm -hmm. right? I've always kind of understood that. And it's just like... Ugh. I think exactly... Uh, why would I want to play that? Exactly. <laughs> you know? But that, yeah. that's... No, you want to... Like, it's something that I had to wrap my head around because I was corner champion. Like, mm -hmm. I got... Like, when I, when I was on my come up, I won in the corner. Whereas, like, yeah, I'm existing in this corner for a while and I'm, I'm dash attacking out of the... Like, my, my option out of the corner is dash tag. That's it. Yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got. And I'm like, it worked. And then I played Josh and I'm like, oh... This this is like this is just not sustainable. No. <laughs> this like verse good like if you want to beat like the really really good players, this is just not a sustainable way to play the game. <sighs> and you just need a. I think it's 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 a first of all like I, I just threw myself. I forced myself to hit forward for like three months and I lost to everyone. But it's uh, I think the way you you worded it was really really good because it's recognizing when your opponent is trying to do the thing I'm doing. And that's like if you can if you like when you play a scuffle and you do that that, that dash back. Or you do you do that walling aerial? Just notice if your opponent did that, like did did that, like also held their space in that scuffle, and just try to like have that in your mind for the next time to just try the moving forward option, the overshoot dare, or the um the laser in place, the laser slightly yeah, forward. Yeah, I guess. Just when is my opponent doing what I'm doing? Like it's not obvious, uh, or rather, like the information doesn't like. Mm -hmm. Like I can't read it yet. You yep. know, like that's all. 
but it's yeah that's why that's what i'm talking about and reading it is like you don't have to read it you just have to go like you have to you, you can you it's something uh like a really you just have to sort of have that trigger in your head that when when you're in a scuffle and you did the dashback and they did the dashback your mind just has to go oh that that is what i was looking for right that was the opportunity and then you're trying to and then you're tr like ne in the next situation when your mind recognizes like a similar situation try the move forward then it's like if you if you notice if you lit just pay yeah, that's attention the, but that's what i mean is like getting the information yeah i can't i'm not like it, i don't know what it looks like that's what that's yeah. what i mean but it's it's that th if you if you notice if you just lit every time you dash back and they dash back you do every time you dash back and they dash back or you walling aerial and they dash back every time you do that just n and just notice it because you, like right. you're, you're talking about it like you're not like obviously you don't recognize the situation before it happens but if you if you consciously notice if you go, I don't, like every time you dash back out of like a scuffle or something, just pay attention to what they did, what they did, and if they if they if they also dash back, just consciously notice it. And if you do that enough, you start. That's when you start notice. Like that's when you start recognizing the situation before it happens. It only happens once you start consciously just noting every time it happens because you're not ready before because and that's where your mind already is. But if you note it every single time it happens, then that's when your mind starts thinking about what's happening before. It's just you just have to catch it literally every okay, single time. I can build on that. I can build on that then. All right. Anyway, that, that was, works, uh, that was a good tournament. We'll Thanks for the five bucks back. <laughs> That's all right. I'm uh, just like that. Car, I'm just like this is the most depressing five dollars. I'm just like here's your five dollars back. Yeah, it's totally cool. It's totally cool. Uh, I love you. All right, we're piecing out, folks. I'm gonna. I'll copy the pod and then I'll, I'll let you have your laptop back. But 